This just in. We're here with news that has left the world of arts and politics in shock. Glenda Jackson has died at the age of 87 after a brief illness. Stay tuned for the full report. Jackson passed away peacefully on Thursday morning at her home in London, surrounded by her family. Glenda lived a life of three distinct acts, the first being her glittering career as an actress, where she won numerous accolades, including Oscar, Tony, and Emmy Awards. She first attracted notice in 1964 with the Royal Shakespeare Company, and later starred in major films like Women in Love and A Touch of Class. Her performance as Queen Elizabeth I in the BBC series also garnered significant acclaim. Turning to politics, Jackson represented her London district in the House of Commons for 23 years. Always a supporter of the Labour Party, Jackson ran for Parliament in 1992 and won. When she stepped down, she acknowledged her enjoyment of the constituency responsibilities, but admitted she didn't miss Parliament itself. Jackson's third act was a triumphant return to acting in her 80s. She played King Lear on both London and New York stages and starred in Elizabeth is Missing, a television film about a woman coping with dementia. Her work in Edward Albee's Three Tall Women also won her a Tony Award in 2018. Tributes have been pouring in for Jackson from around the world, recognizing her as a tour de force in acting and politics. Sir Michael Caine described her as one of our greatest movie actresses, while Sir Jonathan Price said he believed she was the greatest actor that this country has ever produced. Details about Jackson's burial services are yet to be disclosed. Jackson leaves behind a rich legacy of professional accomplishments and a family who loved her deeply. Glenda Jackson's passing marks the end of an era, but her immense contributions to the worlds of art and politics will continue to influence generations to come. This has been Lauren with WBI News, reporting on the loss of a remarkable icon in arts and politics, Glenda Jackson. Stay tuned for more updates.